This local sports report is presented by the Guelph Minor Football Association, proudly developing players in Guelph for community high school and youth sports football for over 25 years. Learn more about their tackle and flag programs by visiting guelphminorfootball.net. The U-12 Guelph Griffins back on home field at Alumni Stadium on Saturday. The Griffs playing host to the Chatham-Kent Cougars. Jumping to deep in the first quarter, the Cougars with the ball and watch the trick play. Cooper Ferris fakes the handoff and takes it right. He's looking for a first down, and he's got it! A nice run from Cooper, and on the next play, how about a great throw from Cooper Ferris? He spots out Owen Prince wide open downfield. Owen makes the catch and runs in for the touchdown! So it's 8-0 Cougars heading to the second. In the second quarter now, Chatham Kent back with the ball. It's in their trick handoff play, and here comes Cooper Ferris. He sidesteps a tackle and finds open space. Cooper's in no man's land, and he will be caught. So it's 16-0 Cougars. The Griffs look to answer before the half, and it's a trick play of their own, getting the Guelph offense started. Reese Pullen comes out with the ball. He's looking for a first down, and Reese is good. And the Griffs move downfield. Then it's another handoff, this time from Maceo Mueller. Maceo takes off left and turns on the Jets. Cooper Ferris trails Maceo, and he's got a great tackle, taking him down at the Cougars' 10. The Griffs with one final play before the half, but with some strong pressure from the Chatham-Kent defense, the Cougars would hold on to the half. So it's 16-0, heading to the third quarter. In the third quarter now, and it's a good start for the Griffs on defense. Grayson Kahn hunts down the QB, and he's got a sack. And the Griffs would turn the ball over. The Griffs offense back in the picture now, and it's another handoff for Maceo Mueller. Maceo has a few Cougars in front of him, but he keeps trucking. He sidesteps one tackle and runs over another, and he keeps his feet moving. Grayson Kubig takes down Mueller inside the Cougars' 10. The Griffs look to get on the board, and it's a sacrificial handoff from Josh Cummings. Josh gives it to David Samuel, and David eyes the end zone. He spins off one tackle and spins again, and he's in there! So the Griffs are on the board. Jumping to the fourth quarter, now the Griffs back in scoring position, now down 16-6, looking for a late comeback. It's another handoff from Maceo Mueller, and Maceo waltzes in for the touchdown! And after a nice kick from Ethan Yake, the Griffs pull back within two. The Cougars back with the ball now looking to stave off a comeback and watch the pass from Cooper Ferris. He connects with Owen Prince and Prince is in no man's land. Owen turns downfield and he won't be caught as he runs in another touchdown. So it's 24-14 Cougars. The Griffs needing a miracle now and how about David Samuel? He finds space on the near side and he's flying. It's a good block from Mueller and David keeps his feet moving. Cooper Ferris takes him down at the Cougars 16 yard line. The Griffs look to score and watch the magic from Reese Poland. He digs his way through the middle and comes out the other side for the touchdown. So the Griffs are within four, but that would be as close as they would get. So a great second half from the Griffs, but in the end, the Chatham Kent Cougars hold on for the win. They take it by a final score of 24-20 on Saturday afternoon.